Hey, my name is Dakota and thanks for tuning in on Tech Tips. Today we're going to be talking about cutting different types of metal. So the plasma table can cut essentially any metal that conducts electricity. So that can be anything from aluminum, copper, brass, or titanium. So today we're going to go through and do examples of how you would figure out how to cut for that kind of material. So where I like to start when it comes to making a tool for whatever I'm trying to cut, I like to start with a similar thickness material and then work my way from there, first figuring out a feed rate from that and then a voltage. So where I'm going to start is bringing in a square, a two by two inch square, and I'm going to set a tool path on it for quarter inch aluminum, just because that's close to what we're cutting with this 3 16 aluminum here. We don't have a tool for 3 16 aluminum, so we need to figure out our cut speed and our voltage to get this cut. So I'm going in, selecting my 45 amp quarter inch aluminum tool, which is close to what we're cutting. It's a little thicker, so we're gonna start dialing in our feed rate as soon as we get this in. We've got our tool path on there. I'm happy with the operation, so I'm gonna go ahead and post process it. Once I've got my job zero set, I'm just gonna go ahead and run it. I'm gonna run it without torch height control though, so really I can just focus on what the cut quality is first. So right now without torch height control, we actually have very little dross. Uh, our lag lines are looking pretty good. Ideally we're looking for about 15 degrees and uh, in terms of cut speed, I think we're right on. So the next thing we're just going to be focused on is what was the voltage for that? So we zero that out. We're going to go ahead and run it again, this time paying attention to what the torch volts is while it's running, particularly on straight lines. So on this cut, my speed rate was about 55 inches per minute. It's right where I wanted to be for the cut quality I was getting. So from here, I'm watching my voltage, which I'm finding to be about 136 volts. So I'm going to change my preset volts and feed rate in SheCam to match those findings. So to do that, I'm gonna go into that operation I made by double clicking it on the left side of SheCam there. And I'm gonna go into my tool, just to the right of the tool, there's that box with three dots. Click on that. I'm going to change my feed rate right in there, and I'm going to change my preset volts to match what I was seeing. I'm gonna hit okay on that jet tool window, and I'm gonna hit okay on this jet cutting window to apply that operation. From here, I'm gonna post process it again, and I'm gonna go ahead and run my cut with torch height control on and see where I'm at. To figure out this 3 16 saloon, and we started with a known tool, a quarter inch saloon. Use the feed rate for that with torch height control off to see what kind of cut quality we were getting. We figured out that our cut quality was pretty good uh, based off just a quarter inch speed, uh, minimal dross, good angularity. But if we wanted to adjust that, we could have gone into the manual tab, adjusting the feed override. Uh, and then from there, paying attention to what the voltage is without torch height control. And finally, we can go in, adjust our cut speed and our voltage in sheet cam to get our final cut quality we were looking for. Thanks for watching Tech Tips. And if you have other materials we didn't cover today or any other detailed questions that we didn't go over, feel free to reach us in support. If you want to see more content like this from ArcLight Dynamics or have other videos you'd like to see covered, smash that like button and subscribe.